Hey, can you turn on the fire? All right, Andreas, I think we have a pretty interesting one here today. Um, fire damage. Yeah, this is post restoration and remediation of an, a pretty big electrical fire. Um, and I think that we should, uh, we should get an assessment done here because we've got to get preparations for uh, renovation and remodeling done. Cool. So what are we going to do? Sketch it out, do some photo annotations, mm -hmm. and pretty much do prep work for the guys to come here on Monday yeah. uh, to get the work started. Yeah, I think Magic Plan is the tool for the job. So what we are going to do today, Ben, you are going to sketch out the room. Yep and we just talk through it, what you're doing there. All right. So, Ben is starting off the auto scan, um, which is LiDAR enabled. Uh, what's happening now, basically he picks up all the wall portions of this room. This slanted ceiling here is a little bit tricky, um, but we have sufficiently tall enough uh, lower sections for the LiDAR scan to capture this. Um, with that, we also already have the doors um, and other elements that we want to highlight, like those pillars here. Ben is going to take a picture of those. Mm -hmm. Also those windows, because there the auto scan gets a little bit confused with picking up those. We want to make sure that we have um, those captured as well. And I would also really point out this one, uh, Ben, because yeah, that that's kind of the special feature of this room here, right? Cool. Um, so then I think we have everything documented, yeah, room shape looks good is looking me. good, so we go continue to the hallway. All right, so this was the living room and now we'll do the hallway. So what in here do you want to highlight while I'm scanning? Well, I, I mean the hallway obviously was the uh, place where the fire um, was happening, so what we need to do here we should document the main switchboard or the switchboard that um, burned. Um, I think he is also this trapdoor here because it's at the ceiling. Sometimes that stuff gets forget and forgotten. Mm -hmm. um, so we should take a picture of this. And then kind of like the one door frame that is mainly uh, yeah, impacted to the point that it's destroyed and needs to be replaced is this one. Cool. So that... Hallway done. Nice and easy. Cool. So what we got? Hallway there. All right, so let's move on then to the bedroom, right? Yeah. So what do we have in here? Bedroom, again, nothing special. Basic shape. We're going to close that door in an instant so that we can actually uh, scan this section here. Uh, this little recess. Other than that, yeah, we have this window. You are going to capture this fully automated, so that works. Oh, and got the heater as well, it looks like. Got the heater, and then I think we're done, and can, can, can continue mm -hmm. on to the bathroom. Yeah, shape looks good too. Okay, bathroom, tiniest room. I'll leave you there on your own. Yeah. We don't need to squeeze in both. Something I like to do in these small rooms as well is always start at the highest point and then really just try and leverage your angles that you have, right? So getting back here in the corner, if we can close this door real quick, I can get everything. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. And then I just wanna get this small little recess back here. Cool. And the nice thing about the auto scan as well, Andreas, is that we're capturing the fixtures, right? So we have the sink, we have the tub, and we have the toilet that's just captured automatically while we're scanning this. Explain a little bit why you did lean back right now. Right. Because, I mean, why are you doing that? Yeah, so the thing with the, the auto scan is you want to make sure that you have sufficient space for it to capture the entire plane that we're yeah. scanning, right? So if I'm standing here trying to scan this wall like this, all I'm seeing is a small portion of the wall, but when I get back at this angle, you'll see the, 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 the visual cues you're getting on your screen are letting me know I'm capturing the entire plane, not just this little itty bitty portion. Yeah, of it. because that is a little bit of a counterintuitive. Some people think they need to be as close as possible yeah. to be as accurate as possible, but yeah. sometimes this actually helps if you give a little bit more context and a little bit more space. Right. So also in this hallway, like you step back from time to time and try to step back to say, okay, hey, I have sufficient detail, sufficient, mm -hmm. um, how do you call that? 
field of field view, of view yeah. exactly, um, exactly. To capture everything. Cool. And remind me, I did not capture a picture of that, but when we uh, come back and look at our, our overall scan, I can go and drop a photo annotation in there. Oh, that window in the yeah. bathroom. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And so now that was the bathroom. Let's move into the kitchen. The last room for today. Hey. <laughs> Anything specific here that we want to highlight? I mean, we have some remaining tiles. We could snap a picture of those. Um, for the recon guys to understand that they need to yeah, likely work around those or redo them, we don't know yet. Okay. And also you could snap a picture of the outlets here and the uh, plumbing. So that would be helpful. A photo there. And then I'll get a photo here. Uh, given that's just storage, that's not actually livable space. That's something I'm just knock out with the Bluetooth laser after the fact sure. if, if they need that information. But um, for the purpose of today, I don't think that's necessary. Shape looks good. Confirm. Kitchen. So overall, looks like we have a pretty good outline of the uh, floor plan. So let's go ahead and hit done. Nice. And now instantly you have your full floor plan sketched out with all the details. Yeah, this is awesome. So I'm going to go quickly grab that photo yep. in here. And maybe I can go ahead and start working on indicating where the slants are, yeah? yeah? That would make sense. Cool. So I forgot to uh, add the photo while I was scanning. So I'm just gonna drop from the annotation category a photo, orient it based on where I'm standing, and go into the photos and notes. And take a picture of that. Exactly. And while we are at it, like this outlet up there mm -hmm. or this I don't know what it is. Yep. Is it gas or whatnot? Like if you take a picture of those as well, the meter and the uh, sure. possible gas outlet, I think that could be beneficial as well. So I'll just drop another one. I'll spin it. I'm standing near the toilet. And I'll get a photo of both of them in it. And the nice thing about this is we don't have to do it right now. Um, but if there's ever anything specific in the photo that we want to highlight, you can always just go in and, and mark it up as well. Do Take it. a little, you know, red circle around it, you know, put a little text or something on it. Um, cool. So what I like to do when we have slants like this, right? I think it's really good, at least for the, the teams coming in, to have some type of visual representation on the floor plan. So I do a pretty basic strategy for this. I use our line object. You see it's here recently used for me. And I just like to drop this doesn't have to be precisely where everything is, but you can see we have a lot of objects in here as well. I like to use the zoom capability because it makes sure that I'm getting exactly what I want to touch. Yeah, Drag yeah. it over cool. and it's done. So we have a small visual representation there. I'm just gonna quickly go through all the rooms in real quick and drop a similar Those line lines. Yeah. so that we know. And I mean, we can also drop a small room, which basically takes the outside walls so maybe maybe you could even use a pillow room for the crawl space here. Uh, yeah, I could use that actually. That's a great idea. That would be nice. I'm gonna finish up here with my slant annotation. Cool. And then you said we want to capture this with a yeah. filler room. So I'm just gonna go in here, go to room, insert a filler. And what do we call this? We have a storage closet. option or a closet. Yeah, there we go. Drag, drop, done. Easy. You don't even need to. I mean, yeah, you don't even even need to measure it at the door, and then we're done. And maybe take one picture of the door. Yeah. Um, because it's a it's a it's a lower um, mm -hmm. door. So. Yeah. I was just updating the room color. I had been working with colors on a previous project, so we had a a red closet. Let me. Um, Take a photo of that closet. Yeah, I like to use colors in my floor plan. It's not something that people do a lot, um, but it's something I love to do on my projects is use the color option for the room types to create visual representations of like, hey, what type of room or where is the damage located, <laughs> right? Hey, okay, it's a red room. That's yeah. where damage is. Watch out. Yeah, exactly. Danger incoming. Good, so basically, you are adding now the lines for the slanted ceilings and then we are done, no? Yep, almost finished. So I like to use this uh, pillar here's orientation. So I'm actually, I went ahead and dropped the line, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. I have a square pillar option here. 
and I always have a Bluetooth laser in my pocket. Just, just in case. Just in case. And I'm just gonna use this to orient this pillar on where it is actually in the room. So there's the set distance option right here. I like to use this and select one of the walls. And then if I select that measurement and I'm connected with the Bluetooth laser already, I can just go like this. It's automatically positioning the pillar. Nice. Yep. And then I can just quickly drop another one if I wanna be super precise from here to the other one. And now I have perfect placement for this. And you can see that the slant is r relative to this. Pretty easy to determine where. So I like to go ahead and go ahead and drop my extra corner. Yeah. Be, be right here. Really low ceilings. What is that? 220? Yeah, it's not very tall, is it? Maybe 230. Yeah, it's, I mean, obviously we are in a top floor apartment in a vaguer smallish cool and so that's that one last thing i'd like to do just to highlight how good the auto scan is yeah let's really quickly go get a bluetooth laser uh comparison real quick sure so right now i have it at 10 foot uh seven inches seven and three quarters inch so i'm going to close this door come to the widest portion real quick and do one reference measurement since i have the bluetooth laser actually stayed the exact same. So it looks like we had a spot on this time. <laughs> Love it. No, I mean, th th that's choking. It is super accurate. It's pretty accurate. The, the, the question is always is, what do you need it for and how detailed does it need to be? I always say, don't order a marble, marble countertop, but for everything else, should be pretty fine. But yeah, I think we have everything we need. Tons of photos, um, reference points for them on where all the slants are. I think this assessment is good to go. Sure. So, that's awesome. it. All right. <laughs> Thank you.